Do the health trends you see online actually work? We're going to get to the bottom of it with another round of hack or whack. So could the secret to a common skin concern be rubber bands? Well, people are using rubber bands to remove keloids. Some of these tutorials have more than 100,000 views. I'm interested to see what you say, doctor. So keloids, as we know, are overgrown scars that really exceed the original injury to the skin. They can be painful, they can itch, and they can be a real nuisance for people. But the idea here is you're taking a rubber band and putting it around the base, choking off the blood supply to the keloid so it turns black, which is basically necrotic tissue. Now, keloids come up because of inflammation and tension on wounds. So this is absolutely the worst thing you can do is create a lot more inflammation. That keloid is very likely to even worsen you could come back with That's infections. Right. You could introduce bacteria. You could get an infection. I just think this is so whack. I don't even know where to begin. People doing this themselves at home on a keloid is a bad idea. And so what, you know, what are the things we can do? Well, if you're forming a keloid, pressure therapy works. The injection of steroids uh, also works. Excising the, the uh, keloid for a better scar in cases like that, we follow them early on with the things that I just mentioned. Radiation is sometimes used. So there's lots of options. Don't try to take care of them at home. Yeah. So if someone is having a surgery and they're prone to keloids as a plastic surgeon, would you say there's something they could ask their doctor, like, hi doctor, I have keloids and I have an issue, so I wanna make sure I heal as nicely as possible. Can you do X, Y, or Z? Yes, we definitely, we <laughs> sew things in a certain way to relieve all the tension on it and watch early on what can we do to prevent it, whether it be injecting steroids, uh, pressure on it, silicone sheeting on it, uh, radiation therapy, those are all options. So the same things you mentioned before. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, but, but you're very proactive. You have them yeah. come back right away and you start that preemptively so that you nip it in the bud and it doesn't develop in the first place.